went to VidCon and cool things happened and I'm terrible at taking pictures, so I made an animation instead because that's what I do best. So here are some of my favorite highlights from my trip to VidCon 2017. Okay, so I'm gonna preface everything by saying that this is gonna feel different than my past recaps because, well, this was a different VidCon for me. For starters, my normal group of friends, the Annoying Orange Crew, were not able to make it this year. Something about important life things and deadlines and other excuses, I don't know. So a lot of my VidCon this year was hanging out with new people and just kind of walking around by myself and going to panels. But trust me, I have stories. So let me explain. I arrived the day before VidCon and Tomska and I had already decided that we wanted to meet up for dinner. And we invited Jaden Animations, James of The Odd Ones Out, Tim Tom, and Adam of Something Else YT. I was the first one at the restaurant because punctuality is abnormally important to me. And I was the least busy out of anyone in the group and I was also the least likely to be stopped by people on the way over. So I put our name in for the table. I'm so helpful! Tom and his girlfriend Charlie arrived first, and they were incredibly jet-lagged. And then the rest of the gang showed up. They were late because they kept getting stopped by people on the way over. Such famous little biscuits. But after we settled down and just started talking, I gotta say that was probably one of the happiest memories of the whole trip for me. I looked around at that table full of amazingly talented people and I just felt so at ease and so happy and I just thought to myself, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. It really was the perfect start to such a crazy weekend. Lightning round! On the second day, Ryder, aka Foot of a Ferret, tweeted out his brief history of VidCon video and I was like, dude, you're awesome, and he's like, dude, you're awesome, and neither of us knew that we were both at VidCon. So we met up and talked for a while in the expo hall until it closed and we got kicked out. He's a real peach. Whenever I was taking a break in the industry lounge on the third floor, business folks were constantly approaching me. In a conversation with one gentleman, I had a lot of trouble convincing him that my stories and cartoons appeal to people younger than me. Like, seriously, he basically put it, But you're old. How do you appeal to the kiddies? Shh, don't tell him that cartoons are made by adults. Even though my annoying orange gang couldn't make it to the con this year, I did end up having dinner with Steven and Mike at the Rainforest Cafe. But on the way over, I almost called to have my rent car towed because it started acting weird. I checked the owner's manual and it turns out the car was just way too fancy for my simple self and I had accidentally tapped a switch on the steering wheel that shifted gears. So the car wasn't broken, it was just in first gear. Gah. I would have to say that the other happiest memory for me of this VidCon was you guys. By the first day, I had already lost count of how many of you had come up to me and asked for selfies and signatures and that you gave me gifts and oh, you're all so sweet. And even at one point on that first day, I had a line of people waiting to see me. It was the most surreal, humbling experience that I have ever had. I really loved talking to you guys and we all had so much in common. And on the third day, I scheduled a meetup at the Nickelodeon booth and so many of you just hung out with me and we just had a grand old time. I know a lot of people out there think it's really, really corny and cheesy to be thanking your audience all the time and telling them you love them and all that, but screw the rest of the world. I'm grateful for you guys and I genuinely care about you. So yeah, thanks, and I love ya. Print that on a book and sell it, other YouTubers. Okay, so now that I have established that most of my explainers are amazing people, I now have to bring things down to a serious tone for a minute. I don't want to, but I have to. It was the first time I've had to deal with something like this, and it will be the last time I give attention to this kind of behavior. And I'm only doing it now to send a clear message. But the second evening of VidCon, I went up to my hotel room and closed the door behind me. About 30 seconds after I did, I heard a group of guys approach my door, and one of them very clearly said, check to see if she's in there. Upon which, one of them banged really hard on my door, and I heard the whole group run away down the hall. Okay, so how to creep out your favorite YouTubers at cons number 9. Knock on their hotel room doors. I know this is a common problem at YouTube conventions, and other YouTubers have had to deal with far worse, but I seriously don't understand why people do this. I mean, even if you happen to magically get a YouTuber to open their door, they are not going to be happy to see you, and they're certainly not going to be in the headspace to talk to you. You've automatically made a bad impression on someone you really like. And doesn't that bother you? At all? Guys, you know I am always happy to meet you and to talk to you, but at an appropriate time and place. Not my hotel room. And if you can't respect that, I have to call security. 
which I did. And I'm not responsible for the repercussions of your actions should you get caught. Whether that's getting kicked out of the hotel, or having your convention badge taken away, or even the police being called. As I said before, this is the last time I am giving attention to this kind of behavior, so this is your only warning. And for those concerned over my safety, don't worry, I had security escort me downstairs the next morning. Better safe than sorry. Okay, we can turn off Mama Becca mode now. Time to get back to the happy stories. Lightning round! Second night of VidCon, I didn't have any dinner plans with anyone, so I went to the restaurant at the Hilton. I followed the hostess in, and she sat me literally three feet away from Taizan Day, Mr. Chocolate Rain himself. While I was stewing over what I could possibly say to him, five minutes later, Boogie2988 and his family came waltzing in and sat at the other closest table to me. So I basically just sat awkwardly eating between two YouTube OGs with absolutely nothing to say to them. Some of you may have heard about the incident with Logan Paul hiding $3,000 for a fan to find and getting swarmed outside the convention center, running through the fountain, etc. Yeah, well, I was right there when he and security and a mob of people came bursting through the front doors, turning that front hallway of the convention center into the stampede scene from Lion King. I'll let you make your own decisions and judgments about what happened, but regardless, it was a pretty frightening scene to be close to. And in conjunction with that story, minutes later after the stampede, I found my way up to the second floor to see Ethan from Crank Gameplays walking past me. He flipped up his hoodie and walked down the escalator right into the fray of what just happened. And I was genuinely very worried for him. On the last day of VidCon, I didn't have any dinner plans, so I texted Jaden to see what she and the animation gang were up to. They were all going over to dinner at the Cheesecake Factory with travel vlogger Evan Edinger. She asked me if I wanted to go, and I said, hell yeah. So once again, I was the first to arrive and put our name in for a table. When the gang finally showed up, Evan had brought three more people, one of them being Dodie Clark. We all stood outside and just chatted in a circle until they finally let us in. I didn't get to talk to Dodie much, but we were all sitting at the same big table. See? It was really fun eating with my animation gang again, and if you go to Evan's travel vlog of the third day and listen really carefully during the Cheesecake Factory dinner, you can hear me singing opera to James when he asked me what my secondary talent was. He and I also shared a slice of cheesecake. Lightning round! You guys remember my friend Yoli from last year? Well, the day after VidCon, she and I went to Little Tokyo and we ate green tea ice cream and ramen and melon soda and we shopped around the Japanese market and we even went to the Japanese American History Museum where they had a George Takei exhibit. Was super fun for a pair of otaku. The animation panel with Jaden, James, Dom, Tony, and Alex Clark's assistant animator Chris was a huge success and I got to sit with Foot of a Ferret and Rebecca Chan. I'll tell you what, listening to that panel, there were so many times I wanted so badly to give my answers to the questions too. And finally, guess what? Just popped up to Markiplier's room here yeah. to shoot a cheeky little vlog. I don't know if it'll be out right after this one. It might be. Um, but That's right, after two years in a row of disappointment, I finally met Markiplier. And you can offhandedly thank Tomska for that. Basically, Tom had been so busy the entire con that we were struggling to find times to hang out with each other. But on the third day after his mental health panel, he asked me if I wanted to tag along while he filmed a video with Markiplier. P.S. He had already asked Mark if it was okay if I could come and Mark was cool with it. I promised to be on my best behavior and off we went to Tom's hotel. What's happening, Tom? I have the flu. Do you now? Yeah. It's not great. Mm. Poor not baby. Great I'm so sad. There ain't no so baby. Far. After going through security and getting a bright pink guest wristband, we went up to Mark's room and I finally met the man himself. And of course, he was very kind and super hospitable. So there you go. Finally happened, and you can thank Tomska for that. Everybody say thanks, Tom! All right, explainers and entertainers, that pretty much sums up VidCon 2017. One last thanks to you guys for making this VidCon so surreal for me, and thank you again for the 100k subscribers. I am still blown away by that. You guys are awesome, and I love you, and with the way that this channel is growing, I am so sure that next year's VidCon is going to be even better. Thank you so much for tuning in, but now I gotta tune out. Bye!